world around in solitary sailing in 49 days. An amazing record Tomakovi just established at the helm of his trimaran Sodebo Ultim. Even 13,000 kilometers southwards, news still resounded strongly. Less than 50 days, nice, beautiful performance. As I often say, everything comes to those who know how to wait. And this is a great example, Bravo Thomas, beautiful performance. The world is owned by the persevering and obstinate. A great bravo to Thomas, to all his crew. Jérémy Bayou knows what he's talking about, dashing towards the Cape Horn he's expected to cross by midday tomorrow. Going at it step by step. Good Hope first, then Cape Lorraine, and now Cape Horn. That was the objective. Next, once again the Pacific was a long stretch. After it, I believe the race will take on its normal course. I'll look ahead and figure where I stand against the two in the lead, against Alex, the trajectories they took, the ones I'll choose to take. The game will open up a bit. It'll become another race, a new race somehow. Spread the word, Jeremy hasn't given up catching up on Alex Thompson. Yesterday, the Welsh passed the tip of South America at full speed and made up more than half his delay on Armel Leclerc. Well, here's uh, the famous Cape Horn. Woohoo! Well, that, uh, that was Cape Horn <laughs> at 30 knots. They're quite difficult to film and uh, be outside, as you can see. So uh, that's just a free, fleeting glimpse of it. I got a good look through some windows. But uh, like I say, great to be here, great to be here so quickly. Shame I'm not here in first place, but uh, full credit to Armel for that. He's done a great job and uh, I've got, got to try my hardest to try and catch him up now. Among the leaders, sailing back up the South Atlantic doesn't look so simple. You need to go eastwards to find winds, while keeping a close eye on the Antarctic exclusion zone. Armel Lecliache often loves to say, nothing is a foregone conclusion in this 8th Vendée Globe. 